Hi, welcome to Air Reps U. I'm Dave Greenek, and today we'll be discussing condensate trap design. In my experience, failing to include or properly size a condensate trap can lead to operational issues like sucking mechanical room air into the air handler, blowing conditioned air out of the air handler, or water not draining and overflowing the drain pan. Coordinating the proper trap size and vertical clearance required below an air handler drain connection is easy when done up front in design. But trying to make room for a trap with insufficient vertical clearance once equipment is installed is expensive at best. Think core drilling a slab and routing piping below. And at worst, it's impossible. The purpose of a condensate trap is twofold. To allow the condensate to drain adequately and to prevent air from entering a draw through unit or escaping a blow through unit. So how do we size our condensate traps so that they work correctly and prevent these common problems from occurring? These graphics show traps for a draw through and a blow through arrangement with dimensions. That's a lot to remember. The good news is Air Reps has created a calculation tool with equations for either draw through or blow through so you can get your answers quickly. All you need is condensate drain pipe diameter, external static pressure, coil pressure drop, and other downstream component pressure drops for blow through arrangement. And if you aren't sure what is draw through or blow through, we have graphics that illustrate the difference. Once you have the vertical clearance requirement, you must be sure there is enough space from the air handler drain to the floor to properly install the trap. Please note that there can be a considerable difference in the location of the drain connection from one manufacturer to the next. So be sure to check this dimension for each unit on each project. This information and more can be found in our Air Reps Engineering White Paper. This document, along with the Excel calculation tool, have been made for your use, and you can request these documents by clicking the link below. By following these simple steps, you will avoid one of the most common problems with air handler design and provide your client with a seamless experience. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please like and ask questions below and hit the subscribe button to get more HVAC education videos.